Hi everybody, um, this is a short video on babies. Uh, this is my hatchling rack and as we can see I've actually got babies in the hatchling rack. The jungle carpet pythons, they hatched out. Uh, they hatched out, they started pipping on day 50 which is quite early but everything was fine. I've set the last, I think it was the last two or three up this morning. And also the spotted pythons have hatched. Now, I had some bad news with the spotted pythons. Unfortunately, out of 12 eggs, 10 eggs went bad. Um, but I've got two babies, and there's also a surprise with the spotted pythons, something that I wasn't quite expecting. Uh, but let's have a look. We'll take a look and see what we've got. Okay, this is the first baby that I'm going to show you today. This is a spotted python. It happens to be a male. And these are really, really nice out of the eggs. These are these are really nice babies. This one's had one meal already. His sibling, his sister, is quite a bit smaller than him. But apparently they're quite hard to get going um, as babies, which is very different from the adults. Well, it's certainly different from the adults that I've got. Very, very good feeders. Uh, very, very good feeding response. After feeding, I very rarely handle uh, the spotted pythons to try and get them back into their tubs or anything like that. I always use a hook. They will basically strike at anything. I've even had the female on a couple, two or three occasions, actually striking and biting herself. Um, there, get the focus, is a little male, Anteresia maculosa, little baby spotted python. And next up is, a, is his sister. Okay, and here we have his sister, which was the first to pip and first to come out of the egg. And uh, I had a surprise because she is, in fact, a granite. Now, I had no idea that uh, either of the parents were granites. I bought the parents some five years apart from different people. Um, but she came out and she's a granite, so the parents have to be het for granite. And her brother is a 66% het granite. But that'll focus. She's got a really nice pattern. Really nice granite. And I don't know how well this will pick up on video, but she's actually the dorsal line on the top of her back there is completely clear of any pattern at all. It's, uh, it's just the base colour. There's no granite pattern at all on the dorsal so she's got like a dorsal clear dorsal stripe and the full length of her body but I'll be holding her back and also her brother for future breeding uh, but yeah Unfortunately, it was uh, it was bad news with the clutch. Only two eggs out of twelve, uh, but but yeah, a nice surprise in the end. So that that made up for losing nine, ten eggs. Um, we got granites, and of course, I'll be producing granites every year now. Something a little bit different. Next, I'll show you the jungle carpet pythons. Okay, and we've got the jungle carpet pythons. These are literally two days out of the egg, some of them a day. Um, I've got 16 babies. All very similar. But as these as these snakes shed, 
they'll become more vibrant and uh, the yellow will really come through a little bit lively but I'm hoping to get probably a Jaguar um, to go with my Jungle Jack Sib male produce some Jaguars as well And also they take after their dad majority of these they've got a nice stripe down the side um, if I can get it in shot they've got a nice striping down the side which is quite nice but yeah as they shed they'll they'll yellow up But nice little inquisitive babies. I came in late last night at about 10 o'clock. Um, had to do a couple of things. Turn the light on. And uh, and all of these, all of the jungle carpet pythons were all over the tubs. They was really exploring. All seemed really healthy. I won't be holding any of these back. These will all be for sale. Uh, the only other thing I've got at the moment, baby-wise or uh, expecting, is I've got one clutch of um, corn snake eggs, and the father is a hypo stripe motley, and the mum is a bubble gum. Uh, I'm sure she's hypo and she's het for stripe as well, so. They're right here. I think 17, 18 eggs in there. Um, she's due to double clutch as well, hopefully. Uh, and the male's in with another two females at the moment. So we obviously have the potential of getting, getting probably six clutches, five or six clutches, I'm hoping. Four out of him this year. All will be for sale. I'll probably hold one male back because I've held two females back from the previous year same father different mum um, and then put them together and obviously uh, we'll get some hypo strike motley babies going on the corns I've got Royals due uh, but not for a while probably another 10 I think it's about another 10 days 16 days maybe uh, before my Royals are due to lay uh, but I'll keep you updated on that uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, we're starting to we're starting to fill the baby rack. Okay, see you soon. Bye.